Hey, y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. Thanks, replay viewers, for coming in. As you're coming in, please type hashtag replay. Hi, my name is Latasha. I'm the owner and operator of So Fervent Embroidery. And um, this is just our weekly embroidery check-in. Let me know if you all can hear me because I was having some trouble with my sound just a few minutes ago. Thank you for coming back in. Let me know if I have any sound. Hey, Tammy, thank you for coming in. Can y'all hear me okay? Yes, awesome. You can hear me. Thank you for coming in. I was having trouble. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Miss Gail. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all, it was a struggle trying to get the sound. I already missed Thanksgiving week, and then I missed last week, too, so I do apologize for missing last week. It just, I lost track of time, and when I got ready to come out here, it was super late, so I'm excited to be back here out in my studio. Thank y'all all for coming back in as well. Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Crafty Puerto Rican, Juana. Let me know if I'm saying your name right, please. Thank y'all for coming in. It means a lot, especially the ones that was here on the live at first. Um, when I was having the technical difficulties, thank y'all for coming in. So I'm not going to prolong the time because it's already late. I've been trying to think of something um, easy to do um, because I, I like to use this to get my, my weekend um, jump started for my embroidery week for projects. And I wanted to keep it fun. At first, I was thinking maybe I can just do my orders on live, but I want it to be fun. I want it to be something that I enjoy and something that y'all enjoy. So I think I'm probably just focused on simple projects. That way we can focus more on technique. So let me know what y'all think about that. And I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving too. This is our first check-in since Thanksgiving. I hope y'all had a good one and y'all enjoyed, had some good food and enjoyed your family. Thank you, Juana. Thank you. I want to make sure, because <laughs> I know you always said in the beginning of your videos also, and I'm like, okay, I want to make sure, but thank you. So yeah, tonight I'm, I'm not going to prolong this, um, the time because we took me a while to get out here and get started, but I'm doing something very simple tonight, y'all. It's just going to be a white apron. Um, I want to put something Christmassy on it. And um, I think I'll just go ahead and get started because I, I'd like to jump right on in. If y'all have any um, any questions or anything, drop those down in the comment. And I'll as I after I get the project on the machine, I'll come back and answer those. So I already there's already a crease down the middle. I just took it to the heat press to find my center marking on the apron. And um, if you don't have a heat press, that's no problem. You can just use the iron. And I wanted to show how well made these are. Okay, trying to make sure I'm going the right way. I don't know if y'all can see the pocket, that middle line. It's pretty nice the way that these are built. They're nice and sturdy. Um, they're made pretty good. If you fold them in half, it pretty much meets in half and everything. You know, because which knowing um, that we do embroidery and we do crafts, a lot of times we are the ones who find out when things are irregular, right? So, but these are made pretty good. I actually had these um, for some time now. Um, actually, it's been a few years. Um, I got these from um, Jiffy Shirts. I dropped that link down in the comments if y'all are interested in these. Um, because they are, they're really nice and sturdy. I think they're going to do good with embroidery. I've, I've used them one time for a customer. Now, um, I think it's a little see-through. Usually, I would use a, a tearaway. But 
the hoop that I'm going to use tonight, I'm going to use my 8 by 9 or 9 by 8 Mighty Hoop. And the tearaway that I have, it's not big enough for the hoop. So this is something that I'll probably wear around the house or maybe my baby will wear around the house. So this is not for a customer. So I'm going to use cutaway. So you could use tearaway though. So, and she wants to know if this is cotton. Let me take a look and look at the tags on here. Let's see what is the makeup here. Ah, and it don't have it on here. After I get the project on the machine, Miss Gail, and please let make sure that I'm saying your, the right name because I want to say you told me your name was Miss Gail uh, with um, Kingsbury Crafts. Please let me know if I'm saying the right name. So I'm trying to put a name with the channels, you know. But um, what I'll do after I get this on the machine, I'll pull up the link and glance at it on the website to see if it's cotton or not because it, it doesn't have a tag in here. It doesn't have a tag, but I also, I'm not sure if you add a computer, Miss Gail. Yes, awesome, awesome. I'm not sure if you add a computer or not, but I did put the link down in the description box of this live. So um, if you add a computer, you can probably glance over there. But first, I'm going to go ahead and find my, my placement. And again, I've already ironed it, put it in half. And I usually do maybe like one or two inches. I'm not going to find the um, placement like, like in here. I'm not going to find my crosshair tonight. What I'm going to do, I'm just, I just know I want it to start maybe one or two inches from the top here. I'm not sure if y'all can see that. One moment here. Move this. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see here. You see right here, I'm going to start maybe two inches down. That, And I'm just going to put a pin there. And that's going to show me when I'm doing my, um, when I'm checking the, the hoop before I start. That's going to show me where to, I just want to make sure my machine doesn't go up higher than that. So... And again, um, I hope y'all can see, okay? I hope y'all don't see my junk. Don't talk about my junk in here. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna go ahead and measure about two inches down. And even if it's, since this is for me or my daughter, I'm not gonna stress too much about it because I wanna say this design is, let's see, I can glance over here and see. Cause I know it's gonna just fit inside the hoop. So if it's a little further down, it's okay. I'm just trying to find the measurements, the dimensions of the design. And I'm looking at my phone because I always snap a picture of my editing software. So I can, when I'm loading the colors on the machine, I use it. So this is a little over six and a half wide and seven inches tall. So that's going to just fit inside the, the, um, the Mighty Hoop. And especially with the way that I have the Mighty Hoop program in my machine, I program my machine for the Mighty Hoop to be a little smaller than it actually is. That way I didn't take a risk of using it and bumping my hoop. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just measure like two inches down. Let me try to move you all here so you can see. And excuse all the mess here. Y'all, good Lord. <laughs> Let me just move this out the way. So we all seeing all my junk here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so I hope y'all can see, okay? I hope you don't see too much of my mess here. Let me put this here real quick. Be something from the mouse pad. I'm still here. I'm just stepping away to get some uh, something to wipe this with real quick. All right. I don't know if that's a little something for from the hoop or what. And I purchased these aprons some time ago, and I really second guess using them for my customers. So I don't know how I worry about 
the white and they stitch it on it and then they find some kind of stain or something. So I'm gonna use my ruler here and I'm gonna measure about two inches down. And that's just giving me an idea roughly how far down I wanna go. I lost this block that fast. And y'all, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Put those down in the comments. And after I get this on the machine, I'll be sure to answer those. All right. So I'm just going to go there. That's roughly about how far down I want to go. I'm going to turn you all up here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and load my, my hoop onto the machine. I don't need this. This is just a backing holder. Since I'm using the hooping station, I don't need that. So I'm going to place that to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom hoop, bottom part of the hoop. I'm going to go ahead and place that in first. I'm going to place my stabilizer. Let's do it this way. right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this on. And I'm lining up the top of this, the middle. I'm going to just line that up on the middle here. There's a line on the hooping station. Marking center. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down some. It's about straight there. Okay. Okay, so let's go just kind of pulling the sides out some. Okay, I can see the line in there. And uh, my pen is underneath the hoop. I <laughs> did not intend for that to happen. Let me see if I can see that. Yeah. Okay, so I know I'm just going to go up as far as I can on the, when I get it on the machine. And this is for me or my daughter will probably wear it. And I'm just kind of pulling it just a tad bit uh, because that line I'm trying to, I don't know if y'all can see that line, I'm trying to pull it where it's um, lay a little flatter if I can to avoid any puckering. Okay. okay, it's still going to be there because that's why I heat pressed it and it's in there. Mm -hmm. So 
that crease is not going anywhere. But I'm still trying to pull it just a tad bit here. Not overstretching it, though, just enough to kind of get the slack out of it a little bit there. It's probably just going to be in there. And um, I'm just trying to pull it open a little bit just to kind of pull that apron out just a tad bit. If you use Mighty Hoops, you know exactly what I'm I'm talking about. Sometimes it you have to just kind of pull it just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get to the machine. So since the um, my pen was underneath, I removed it. When I hooped it, um, I, I took it out after I hooped it, but I realized the pen was underneath for my placement. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just try to get up as close as I can. I can safely do so without bumping my hoop, my machine. So let's get on over to the machine. Just the ball over here. Sure, how much of that y'all can see? Let's see. Okay, let's move this out the way. Okay. Sorry for shaking y'all. And I'll be back to answer the questions after I get this loaded onto the machine. So I already have all my uh, my colors already into the machine. And I've already checked my bobbin. Let me double check that because I did use my machine last night. So my bobbin is good. I have plenty of bobbin on here. And all my, my colors are threaded. I did that before I started. So before I put my hoop on, I always just like to let my machine go around before I put my hoop on. And another thing, for some reason, my rails, this left one here has been loose sometimes. So I was just trying to always shake that to make sure that's right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and load this onto the machine. Okay, and you always want to make sure it's up underneath that notch. You have a buy machine, you know what notch I'm talking about. And um, with this being a white, um, with it being a white apron, sometimes with this part here, it'll be behind here. And I'll just worry about sometimes it getting stained up because sometimes there's oil and things like that on there. So I would just use a piece of stabilizer and just put that back there. And um, I'll just sit it back here. And when I put this back up, it's on top of the stabilizer instead of directly on the machine. And I'm going to make sure that the arm is clear. That's good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and check my placement just to go around first. Okay. Try that again with the needle down. Move it up just a tad bit. So everything's good to go. I'm just going to go ahead and hit go. And I'm going to stop this for a second because I just threaded it. And the thread is really long. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut that so it doesn't get in the way. And I'll be to the comments as soon as I get this going. This a little bit and hopefully 
put that chunk to get too sharp. I can just pull it just a tad bit. Okay, so let's see, just to make sure that that's not in the way of the stitching. Okay, so it looked like we okay. So I'm going to set the way for a second. I hope I got the colors program right. We'll see in a, in a, in a minute. <laughs> so let's see here. I'm going to move y'all. I'm going to cover you up so I don't shake you. So we got that on the machine. All right, so let me take a look at the comments here. And this design is about... Go ahead and run. Increase the speed a little bit. We're at 750. Um, let go 800. I'm going to see what happened. Okay, so I'm running at 800. This is about um, a little more than 17,000 stitches. And y'all, I did something that I don't normally do. Um, I did not do a test stitch. This is my first time using this design. And um, I, I got it from Creative Fabrica. So we're going to see how this stitch out together tonight. Okay, so let's take a look at the comments. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight as well. Okay, so let's see here. Cotton. Okay, and good evening, everyone. Baby Giant Services, LSC. Thank you for coming in, Baby Giant Services. Thank you. And Miss Rhonda, hey, Latasha and Patrick family. Hello, Miss Rhonda. Thank you for coming in. So, Miss Gail, I'm going to look over here and see if I can pull that, um, that link back up to see if. Okay, it made a different sound. <laughs> so let me look and see if I can possibly pull up um, Creative Fabric. I'm not Creative Fabric, I'll pull up um, Jiffy where I got the aprons from. And again, I bought these a few years ago, but I looked at their website tonight. There are still some in stock. They still have them, even with it been a few years ago. Let's see here. Okay, so here it is. Uh, let's see here. So I had it pulled up. Now this, I've never shared my screen with y'all before, but um, I'm going to see if I can share my screen and see if I can pull this up. I didn't know I can do this. Okay. Okay, so um, let me know if you all can see that. Let me know in the comments. And can y'all hear me okay with the machine going? I'm going to move y'all one more time. Okay. 
Can y'all hear me okay? And let me know if y'all can see the screen. Okay, it's good. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gale. Okay, so I went to, this is where I got them from. Let me know if y'all can see that screen. Hope y'all can see that. But this is the aprons. Let's see here. I'm trying to see what y'all, if y'all can see that. And let's see. Okay, so it's saying that it's 70% um, polyester, 30% cotton, Miss Gail. And um, they have them in different colors as well. When I was purchasing, I, I got the white one. Um, did I have black? I know I had the, the red. I have red. And my customer at the time wanted navy. So I also purchased the navy ones as well. So I hope that answers your question, Miss Gail. Okay, thank you. Um, baby giant services. And we can hear and see. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yes, it's good for sublimation. Yeah, but um, I don't sublimate. But um, I for some reason thought the sublimation was um, it, what it has to be one hundred percent polyester. I don't, I don't sublimate. Sublimate. I stand my embroidery lane. I don't do embroidery. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I want to say yes. They normally do use polyester for sublimation. But I think the more polyester um, that there is in the fabric the more vibrant the colors are. So I'm going to end this screen share. And um, let's see. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> okay, you do both. Awesome. Okay. Sublimation as well. Awesome. Let me take a look and see how this is stitching. Because again, this is the first time stitching this design out. Okay, um, one moment. I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to make sure it's doing okay. Okay. Okay, so that website is jiffyshirts.com. Uh, it's jiffyshirts.com. Yes, Jiffy Shirts, you got it, right. And um, down in the description box, I also put the link for the um, aprons that um, I'm using as well. In this laundry, you can use polyester for sublimation. And yes, you're right. Okay, thank you for clarification, Miss Rhonda. Because, like I said, I see in my embroidery lane. I don't, I don't do sublimation. So, what are y'all working on? What kind of projects are y'all working on? Um, only thing I've done this week was um, I did some towels for. Um, um, a pastor because that's something easy that we can do as well y'all um, towels are easy they can be done, done on a multi-needle and a single needle machine okay, I'll grab those in just a moment let you see those and the only other thing I have is um, two beanies I need to do and I actually made about 10 bibs that are on my embroidery machine I did them in the hoop two at a time I'll Cut those out later. I probably I want to do that while this stitch, but 
I'll do that another time. But that's all I'm working on right now. Okay, so they're trying to service the Jupiter Church. Yes, okay. I'll try everything now. I'm trying to make some gift baskets. I, I totally get it, Miss Rhonda. Because at first I almost got hooked up in um sublimation when I a few years ago because I seen how how easy it not really easy but see what the startup is a startup back then you know the way that they was the content creator that I was following they were showing you how you can start sublimation and um they almost got me <laughs> but I, I I didn't a few years ago I did buy um uh, was it cameo the silhouette cameo I purchased that and then right after I purchased that machine, COVID, the initial shutdown of COVID happened, and I put that to the side. So I said, I'm going back to embroidery lane. <laughs> For special occasions, just awesome. That 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 is awesome, Miss Rhonda. Um, because also, you know, with us crafting and doing things like that, it's actually easy to take. Not really easy. It takes some preparation and everything to make gift baskets, um, because when people open up your gifts, you want them to have experience, right? So putting in the gift baskets that, that really elevates your products as well. Yes, for special pages, right? This is how I got hooked. Right. <laughs> Watching somebody else and they, they make it look so easy. I'm not going to say easy, but it's like interesting, I guess, you know. Let's say, oh, no, let, let me back up. Okay, so that's looking looking good, y'all. Let me move this thread out the way. Move this out the way here. I got it. Let me just cut this off. Because it's another color thread got hooked in up underneath this here. And I'm trying not to cut the other thread though. It's underneath it. It'll be all right. Oh, there it is. And I still think I cut that too short. I'm going to make this machine come unthread it. So let me just put this up here. And I'm trying to watch it when it get ready to start that color and I'll pull it back down. Okay, it's going to be going to the black next. So I'll just have to watch it. Alrighty. Okay. And Baby Giant Services just finished printing and pressing direct the film shirts. That's awesome. Oh, oh man, y'all, the, the crafts that, that's out here. <laughs> I would love to see some of the things that you're doing. And the hubby was doing some embroidery. That's awesome that the two can go together. Awesome. Then they carry you out and make some vinyl shirts. I don't know, Miss Rhonda. <laughs> I don't know about that because that's a whole nother thing to learn learn that. I will say my, my husband, um, he'll he he uses it to do things with or whatever, but um no. <laughs> I, I actually did my shirts myself with vinyl, but um, no, uh, uh, <laughs> that that's a, that's another beast. I just stay in my embroidery lane. <laughs> yeah, with doing the potholes, that would be awesome. I was thinking about um doing some potholders because I purchased some potholders some time ago, and I wanted to try to do some other projects with them. I started to do that tonight, but I didn't know if y'all would be interested in that. Send another spin on on things to do with pot holders. Looking good. Okay, let's see here. Do you have this your machine? I'm so tempted. Right. Oh my goodness. I have two converted Epson stylus for eighty two F. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Wow. Okay, so Crafty Puerto Rican says she orders the DTF 
um, transfers. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to go. That's if you can find them. They're not so expensive, though, you know? Yeah. I would have to post it on my TikTok and start doing some shirts on YouTube. That would be great. Uh, that would be great, Baby Giant Services. That would be great. That's cool. That's awesome. I thank y'all so much for hanging out over here. That's what she's doing now. Awesome. Okay, you working too. Awesome. Oh, wow, nothing wrong with them. That's awesome <laughs> to get those. Man, sometimes people don't really value things that they go to something new, you know. They're like, get them out of here. That is awesome. Yes, Miss Rhonda. <laughs> yes, getting ready for 2024, God willing. I, I know that's right. Right. <laughs> Right, uh, Baby Giant Services, right. I've been jumping up and down with you, too. Because <laughs> we see the value in things and what we can turn around and do with it. Y'all, it's looking good over there. This is a new design. It's looking good. And while that's stitching, let's see how many stitches are, are going So it's about 10,000 stitches. Got about 7,000 stitches left. So let's sit here and cut these bibs here. <laughs> right, right. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Great. Awesome. All right. So let me just show y'all. Um, uh oh, that was my phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm gonna move y'all for a second. Miss Rhonda, thank you. I love doing those baby sets, those baby bundles with the um, the bunny, the be of our cloth, and the the shirts, baby shirts. Thank you. Yeah. So while that's going, y'all, yeah, I wanted to just show you what I was saying that I did. Um, some bibs and these are not whole sets these are just bibs that i did in the hoop some christmas bibs and i did it you shouldn't even see that because i did it in white thread but i did these in the hoop y'all two at a time i hope y'all can see that two at a time so on the back of it is minky and then the buffalo plaid. I was trying to do something for Christmas. Try to use uh, some of this fabric that I have. Because originally when I bought that fabric, it was mask and um, applique. But I don't do enough applique to just hold on to fabric. So I was just trying to think of a way to use use this up. So it's going to make some build. And this is the other one. Again, I did it two at a time in the hoop on a buying machine with that big green hoop and um this one here is the red minky and the buffalo plaid so while that's going i'm gonna just work on cutting these out try to tilt y'all down 
And I usually use my pink and shears. And when I bought these, I made the mistake of buying the wrong hand. I'm left-handed, but these are right-handed scissors. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, I'm just going to use them. So I just want to work on this here while the machine is finishing up. around here. I'm just trying to cut around. So the struggle is real. I'm left-handed using his right-handed scissors. Why is that? As I pull that thread up on that little thing that above the needle, and I just needed to cut it before it took off and end up pulling up breaking. So we're good to go. I love the fun on here. All right, I'm back. <laughs> kind of Christmas gifts are y'all working on? Are y'all doing Christmas gifts for your family and friends that you're creating? back around and cut it some more. And it's not perfect. I just cut around it. You know, it look all rough around there, but I'll go back and do a, a cleaner cut around it. I think I'm going to get the big fabric out the way first.
again, thank y'all for hanging out with me. This is my first time using this minky fabric to do a build. So, see how this is going to come out. Because I usually do um, terry cloth on the back of my bibs. So, we're going to see. And these are not personalized. I just made a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but it was probably like about 10 of them in the hoop. And I was going to aim to just sell them without being personalized. Or if they want them personalized, they'll just um, see the personalization through the video. When I make them as a set, like when they order a baby bundle, I program my um, personalization inside of it so you won't see the stitching on the back. But with these, if they want to personalize, they will see it on the back. I feel like I wasted a lot of fabric here. I'll probably just cut that off there. Wasted a lot. I'm not sure what else I can do with it. Maybe some of those taggies that they that people do for babies. Maybe I can use it for that. I'm not sure if it's big enough. But yeah, so waste of fabric there. Well, I think it's looking good at the side. Yeah. Y'all, I totally missed all these comments. I do apologize. Let's see here. I do apologize. I didn't see these comments, y'all. I'm just sitting here cutting. Okay. Uh. to buy machine better than me so I come to learn from you <laughs> to at a, at a better pace awesome he teaches so fast awesome well we're glad to have you over here 
um, Baby Giant Services. And I'm sorry, y'all. I totally missed these here. I didn't see them come up. Miss Rhonda Work is killing me. I still haven't made mine yet. Apart from the bib you saw that I did. At this point, I need to get some gifts out before Christmas, right? Got the perfect tools to get those gifts done, Miss Rhonda. And uh, let's see. Beverly Floor, hi from Alabama. Move to the platform looking for ideas for Christmas gifts. Thank you for coming in, Miss Beverly. Thank you. We're glad to have you over here. Yes, pink and shears. And Miss Rhonda, they they for the wrong hand. They right handed pink and shears. I'm left handed, so that's why I'm over here struggling with them. Practice Puerto Rican. I plan to do a couple shirts for my family members. That'd be awesome. Why not do um gifts from your creations instead of going out spending money on things? Because I know more than likely we already have the supplies to make gifts. It's under the first time I did my bib, I was freaking out. I thought I stitched mine together. And then I was like, oh, like, duh, you still have to turn it inside out right. <laughs> you have to turn them inside out right. <laughs> Bird's crap is saying hello to Miss Beverly. Yeah, Miss Ronnie, you better keep them. That for the tag is thank you. Um, the tag is an applicant. Thank you, Miss Rhonda, because um I wasted this fabric. I was just trying to do something with them and just laid the whole piece on there because this probably was like the end part of it, and that's probably why I just chunked it over there like that. So, y'all, did y'all hear that? The machine is done. <laughs> I have to go and pull this off the machine. Let's see here. Grab my phone. I'm gonna pick my phone up. Oh my y'all. <laughs> this is pretty. All right. So oh my, it came out really cute. Looking at this design, this design would probably be good on a sweatshirt too, because it's um it's thick font. Let me go ahead and take it out the hoop, y'all. Oh my goodness, I love the font. I love the font. Let's see here. Uh oh, that was a tag off the, the thing that goes around your neck. Set that there. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut off. The stabilizer and this looks a little thin again. Um, you the they're sturdy enough where using um tear away would have been fine, but um, as I was explaining in the beginning of the um the live, the um tear away that I have is not big enough for my eight by nine or nine by eight mighty hoop, so that's why I just use cutaway. So I'm gonna just kind of get this a rough cut. And again, this is for, it's probably going to be for me or my daughter. Um, and I'll be doing this here. All right, y'all, I'll cut those other little threads off. And that roller here. Make one for her with painter's phrase. Painter's phrase. Oh, my, my oldest daughter, right. Right. But um, I was this is I was thinking this would probably would be for my baby girl because my baby girl likes to bake. But uh, yes, Miss Rhonda, you're talking about my oldest daughter um, because she does. She draws. She loves to draw. And Miss Rhonda, um, I don't know if you, well, who else was here when I did um, those towels for my daughter earlier, you know, a few months ago? 
y'all. She's finishing up her first semester. So we'll be picking her up tomorrow after I get off work. So that is exciting. Um, man, it's like when she was getting ready to leave, even though she's just an hour away, I wasn't ready for it. That's still my favorite. She's supposed to be home. She should have been going to school local. But then, where is all? Uh, Y'all know what? <laughs> I wonder where all this black stuff coming from. It's coming from a minky that I just cut. And it's on the apron. I'm rolling it off. And where is it all coming from? That's why I'm sitting here rolling it with the lint roller. Like, where in the world? Because those bibs are easy to make, but they can be messy, especially with um like the terry cloth. And I see with this bumpy uh what is it, minky dot stuff. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it all off because it's still coming up on there. I'm coming, y'all. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm let, let y'all see. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh. Stuff is everywhere. Okay, so let's see here. So this is what it looks like, y'all. Wait a minute, turn the right way. And y'all, look, let me take this off so you can see the font, y'all. This is why I was saying that this would probably be nice to go on a sweatshirt. Look how nice and thick that font is. This font is beautiful. Look at that. And there was some um, stitches inside of the um, the Christmas tree. It was a field stitch, but I, I took those out because I knew it was going to go in the apron. I was trying to take get, eliminate some stitches. And also these stars were field stitch as well. And I removed the background out of that in my editing software. But y'all look at the font. Look at the font. Look at the texture to that. All right. And then while we edit, I like to do a tension check as well. Look at the tension on here. You can hardly see the one on the goal. Look at the tension here. So... Thank y'all so much. And I said I wanted to show y'all the towels that I did. I had did some um, some clergy towels. Some people call them worship towels. Um, they were, I'm stepping away for a second. Be right back. <laughs> Trying to grab those towels so y'all can see those. Because this is even, the towels is even something that can be done as a gift, you know, for family members. And especially if you have ministers um, your minister, your pastor, this is something nice that can be done for them. And they will absolutely love them, y'all. So let me take it out so y'all can see it. And I've, I don't normally do a knockdown. I usually just try to find a font that's thick enough so I don't have to worry about a knockdown. But look at this, guys. This is something so simple, but if you did this for people that you know are pastors, or just put the word pastor, put the word musician um, in a nice thick font, and this is something that they will absolutely love, y'all, absolutely love. But so um, I actually did two of them, and... I just, this was not um, digitized. I just used the font and put the, the letters together. This is one font and this is a different font. I want to say both of the fonts came from Designs by Juju. I mean, it's nice and thick. And this cross, I, I pulled the cross off of um, Creative Fabrica. So I just kind of pulled the letters in and did that. So that's one of the towels. And then it's, it's actually a two-piece set. She ordered this one here too. So as far as packaging, I just put them both in the same bag together. Let me just show you how I package that. And I'll be delivering these tomorrow. 
so very simple, y'all. I know y'all have some towels y'all done bought and y'all can use for your pastors or that's a really nice Christmas gift or just because gift, you know. So um, it, it was two towels, so I just put them in a bag together. So, so that is it, y'all. Let me go back to the comments, see if any comments over here. Okay. The tag is, hello everyone from Miss Beverly. Make one for her. Yes. Okay. And Miss Riley, yes. Remember those. That's great. Well, she's coming home to visit. And a little one will love April. Yes. Thank you so much, Miss Rhonda. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, a nice thick font on there. Thank you, um, Baby Baby Giant Services LLC. Thank you. This is beautiful. Miss Rhonda says it's beautiful. Nice. Right. Nice. For the towels, like they're saying nice. What will you charge for the towels? So they they purchased these towels themselves, and I looked them up on online. Um, I think the name of the company is Towel Hub, and um, I want to say they sell them by wholesale. Looks like the towels are maybe a dollar or so a piece if you buy them wholesale, which is awesome. Um, this is more like, a, um, I want to say the description on there says velour towel, velour instead of terry cloth. Um, so only thing I'm charging is a stitch fee. Um, my stitch fee starts at $12 per item. And I know I'm probably on the low side, <laughs> you know, but I'm, I'm just charging her $12 per towel. Because with, with the stitching, um, this was about 10,000 stitches per towel. So I'm just charging $12 per towel. Yep. So, but I want to say you probably, they don't Etsy maybe $20, $25. Um, as far as pricing, it's usually a good idea to look around in your area. Maybe check Etsy to see what they're selling for on Etsy because me stitching them for $12 and whatever price she paid for them. I mean, I don't know how much she paid for them, but I was able to research and find them wholesale price. And if you have um, your license, your business license, you can, you know, apply for a wholesale account, you know, I'm pretty sure. So, um, but I, I want to say they probably worth about $20, $25 per towel is, is if I had to guess. But check Etsy just to be sure, um, like for your area and just to see what they're selling on there. So, yeah, but I think he's going to love them. I was tempted to just do them just for free because I, for some reason, I always want to give back. And this person that's a pastor used to be my musician years ago. So at first I was like, maybe I'll just, you know, just give back or whatever. But um, I'm going to just do it for $12. So it'll be 12 each. So, yeah. What do you charge for the towels? Okay, that's a good starting price. right? And you said the, the key thing, you said starting price. Because <laughs> I know I probably should be selling them for more. Thanks. Thanks. And okay. So, y'all, that is it. Y'all, before y'all head out, remember to, if, if y'all found this information helpful, you know, remember to give it a thumbs up. And I thank each and every one of you for coming in. This really helps me out. It helps motivate me. I missed y'all last week. Well, I missed y'all for Thanksgiving, but I had already said ahead of time I wasn't going to come on on Thanksgiving since it was a holiday. It was just a good time to spend time with your family, your friends and family. But last week, it was all my fault, y'all. I lost track of time. I didn't plan my day right. And by the time I finished what I was doing that night, it was it was just really late for me to try to get out here and get started, get set up and everything. So I do apologize for not showing up for y'all and not showing up for myself last week. But I'm glad y'all are here. But again, if this was helpful, y'all, please give it a thumbs up. And if you think that this can help anybody else, share it out to anyone who you think this will be helpful for, especially the channel. So. 
But that is it, y'all. I am going to go ahead and end the live. I really appreciate all of y'all. Um, y'all have a great weekend. And for right now, I'll see y'all next week on Thursday. I plan to be here. And again, I'm still trying to figure that time out, y'all. But thank y'all so much for, for hanging in there. And I'll also maybe remember to go ahead, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and go ahead and um, turn your notifications on. That way, when you see me go live, you'll get that notification. Because sometimes I, I want to come out here different days of the week. But I say, no, I'm going to show up on Thursdays. But if you have your notifications turned on, you'll get that notification. You can show it, pop in um, while I'm out here. So, but until next time, y'all have a good one. Be blessed. Enjoy your friends and family. And we're out. We'll see y'all next week. Good night, y'all.